Welcome back to Kung Fu Maintenance, where I show you how to make the most likely repairs you'll need to make in your lifetime. If you'd like to get the latest videos, subscribe and then hit the little bell icon right at the subscribe button and it'll notify you of any new videos when they're released for you. The maintenance boat, I got a ceiling fan that the uh, light won't turn on. Here's the switch, light switch. I turn it on, it beeps. But one funny thing I noticed is that if I turn the uh, setting from heat to cool or vice versa, it doesn't, it doesn't change directions at all. Now the button lights, but it should have an effect when we change the directional setting. So you can even turn it off. It can stop completely and turn it back on. And it's still going the wrong way. So, um, Pushing the light button, the light bulb does not light, and holding it down sometimes I've noticed can reset a bulb that's set the wrong way. But since this one, the light doesn't work, the direction doesn't work, I'm thinking it may actually be the battery. So these take a little A23 battery, so I brought a new one of those, and I'm going to start with that first. So, taking that old battery. And I brought a new light bulb just in case it's not the case. Anyway, here's our. There it is. Okay. And holding the light bulb down. Uh oh. That is not the case. And we are also not change in direction, so that's not good. So, I believe it should be that way, and then that should, should uh, do the deal. You see it starts to want to go the, the right way, but then it just goes the wrong way. Kind of stopping it. I'm going to switch it now and try again. There we go. Nope. Still going the wrong way. Tried. wrong with this fan and that's not going to work because it's going to be you know if it was only going in the in the cooling mode that might work but not only going in the in the hot mode not for where I'm at it's too hot so that's a strange one and it could just be a bad remote it could be a bad program Try this. Let's do it with the, the home button or the off button. Let's try the home button. Yeah, I got a that would be a malfunctioning fan, no matter what I do. Going the wrong way. Alright, well let's open the cover, take a look. Almost no point in me 
replacing the light with the sensor. Here I'm using a bit of plastic so that I don't get my the oil from my fingers on the halogen bulb. That'll burn them out. Well, it may not even be bad. These are a halogen bulb, so you can't touch the lens. The bulb doesn't look burned out. There's a new bulb. Put the cover back on. It's the bad remote, and that none of the settings change at all. It's also possible it lost connection on the, the fan light wire, but not likely. I think I think this one, I think there's nothing wrong with this bulb, and there's nothing wrong with this light, and the light that's in there, so I may recover the light, and I need to change the, change out the deal. Oh, so. Let's look at the. Oh, look at we've got a learn button and we've got a little switch button. Let's see if anything. We change this switch to zero. Let's try that. And hands on on. There's the light. Nope. Yep. Okay. And can try to learn. There's probably a learn button somewhere on the control itself. be too easy to put it where you could actually get to it, huh? Yeah, I do. 
No, that's a screw. There's a screw. It's like someone dropped the screw in there. Oh boy. And then part of the reason this one's malfunctioning. Back to the drawing board. <clears throat> and try using the learn button. And the turn the unit off and on. Holding it down. Hey. <laughs> responding. That's good. There's the light. And the light thing. Hey, we got it. All right. Yes. Okay. So it seems I held the button down while turning the unit on. So now we need to see if we can change directions. Um, on the fan. Go ahead, hit it. I'm going to turn it off for a second so that I can get the cover back on. back on and let's see if we go uh, is it way nice fan is fixed it's a done deal it lost its program so I even changed it to the to the zero instead of the one it looks like it has two options for program held down the learn button while turning the fan on and it responded to that now this has a dimmer so we can in the lights a little bit if that's too bright. Kind of nice feature. And I think my other bulb is still good. I, I didn't touch the bulb, so I'm going to leave it in there. And uh, that's a done deal. All right. Thanks for watching Kung Fu Maintenance. This one's a platinum ports ceiling fan with the Harbor Breeze. I'll try to leave a link in the description below for the fan if you like the fan. It's got some pretty cool features. It's got this wave feature you can do it it does different pattern with the with the breeze the air and the fan how you can dim it or the light how you can dim the light that's pretty cool too all right thanks for watching kung fu maintenance and thanks there's nothing wrong with my battery too <laughs> got my light back got my battery back got my ceiling fan back all right that's a good day almost like that joke about listening to the country music backwards Alright, so hopefully this one will spare you a little trouble if you had the app into you, your remote was lighting, but nothing's turning on, no light, no, nothing, nothing's working. Um, and now you've seen going through a few different processes, changing the battery, changing the bulb, but uh, yeah, <laughs> that was a strange one, it just had lost the, the learn code. Maybe from the switch being turned off and on, I've heard sometimes that he's malfunctioning when the program's changed and then the... The, uh, the switch is turned off and on, but anyway, this one's a done deal. Thanks for watching. Hey, yeah. Links to the parts are in the description below.
young man stands on the side of the road, good book in his hand. Somehow knows what he reads is the truth, but he didn't quite understand. Then one day he met a man who showed him the way. He said, Do you see that light? Strapped to it to in at the gate. Christian staggers down on the road, there's a burden on his back. He's put his hand onto the plow, now there's no turning back. His friends and his family cried after him, but he's not just convinced he's his Christ's life, eternal life, as he roams towards the light. Well, it ain't no easy road. This pilgrim's passing through And I know there will be dangers And that people will persecute But the city that I'm seeking Is much better than where I'm from Cause I was born in the city of destruction Well, Christian made about a mile to be Took him. One of the names was obstinate, the other was pliable. And they said, I'm a Christian, you just can't get up and leave your friends are failing behind. Christian said, I was born in the city of destruction, and if I died there, I fear this burden on my back would sink me to hell. Where did you hear such nonsense, replied Opson? I read about it in my Bible And I know what I read was true and So I said I hold on this pilgrimage I'm just seeking the city of my king If what this man says is true The things he stands to gain are better than all, said Pliable I mean to go with this good man I will not be a part of such misled fantasies, said Obstinate. And he went back to the city of destruction. But Christian and Pavel walked on and on, talking about the way things be when they get to the kingdom of heaven. And they were so excited to have some good company, they forgot to watch where they were stepping to. That was called the slew of despond And that bird in old Christian's back Began to make him sink As he fought and he thrashed For the other side And while we turned back to the way I come from He said, is this the bliss you spoke of Christian? We have met such danger Just barely setting out on our journey What can possibly be ahead? And he left Christian there to sink Yeah. Well, 
mission continues on his journey And he walked and he walked some more And up ahead in the distance he saw a man crossing the field Over towards the path where he was going And this man was dressed in really nice clothes He said, hey there pilgrim, where are you going? Why do you look so weighed down? All the way to city. I know a man that lives just up over that hill there named Legality. He has a son named Civility, and they live in a town called Morality. They can get that burden off your back for you. By the way, how did you get that burden on your back? I read in my Bible that a hot thought so. It's happened to other weak men meddling in things too high for themselves. Go to this good man's house. I tell you, he can get that burden off your back for you. But Christian pondered what the man was saying, and the way it did sound easy. How do I get to this good man's house? It's just up over the hill there, second house on the left. But Christian, he was persuaded to walk off the path, and he headed up. Him. And as he got there, he saw that it was actually a mountain, and that it was burning, and it was on fire, and it looked like he was going to fall on it. He began to get scared, realizing he had done foolishly walking off the path. This mountain represented the law. The evangelist came up to him and said, Christian, Christian, what have you done? You've begun to forsake the counsel of the Most High God. If we confess our sins, it's faithful and it's just to forgive us of our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Man, you man, his name is World of Wise Man. Beware of him. He did three things this week. He made the cross seem unimportant. He turned your feet from the path of life and he put you on the path that leads to death. Christian continues on his journey Now he's quickening to a faster pace Not gonna turn aside for any reason No, not to the left hand, nor to the right He realizes he's standing on dangerous ground And oh my, could it be? Could this be the gate that I've been seeking? Knock 
And as Christian slowly steps inside, Goodwill yanks him in. Why did you pull me in question, Christian? I did it because the enemy shoots arrows at those that would escape, at those that would enter in at the gate. Now I instruct you to go down to the house of the interpreter and listen to the things he has to share with you, for he shall show and teach you excellent things. 